ready. I'm right now with my beautiful housemates who don't want to be filmed. But they're talking about breast cancer. And it blows me away because more and more women have to hear it. Okay, questions. Go ahead. Good. Why I start talking? What would you do? Um, here, let's talk this over, and I'll, I'll sit down and actually meet with someone. Okay. Okay. I'm not. Um, fil- it's on me. You want me to yeah, film you? Just like read you the thing, because I'll ask you a question and you can respond. Good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. This is what we do when it's snowing out. We talk about. We talk about poop. breast cancer yeah. and poop and hands, cold hands, <laughs> not my hands. Good. Jen, it's. Knowing what you know now, um, do you, about women who have Lyme disease, cancer, breast cancer, tumors, health diseases of any time, so having experienced some yourself, would you say that there's any other way to do it other than on a raw diet? Uh, that is the question I've asked you today on the snowy no. day. No. Uh, I think that uh, the raw diet is the most, well, it's the healthiest because you're not destroying all the enzymes, you're living everything that your body was meant to to digest and pack, and you're actually strengthening your body when you're doing it because you're creating, uh, you're actually helping your enzymes to work properly because they were designed, yet again, we were designed to eat God's food, which is fruits and vegetables, and we have all the enzymes we need to break that down. But when you start including other things, our body doesn't have it and has to work harder, so it's really hard to heal when you're introducing a lot of other things, and if you're eating a lot of cooked, you're destroying everything, you're destroying all the nutrients in the food. So it's very hard for your body to break down. You can still get some, but not to the level of raw. So, so right now you're you're diagnosed with breast cancer, which I don't really believe in. I think that's a, my personal opinion, it's a scam. And you came to me and what we, I told you basically you have to be on basic fruits and vegetables. Yes. And you've been on day 22, yes. I think, something like mm-hmm. that. Good. Which all these crazy things are happening to my body, but yeah, you know, like <laughs> oily hair, really hot hands and feet, and you know, just crazy energy levels going high and then low and then high and then low. So, really interesting things going on with the body, you know, that Arnold is helping me to understand what's going on. You know, your body is starting to build up energy and heal. So, um, yeah, it's very interesting. May I ask you some questions? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Do you necessarily feel bad, good? Well, like, what would you describe your state of being as in, like, health-wise at this moment? I feel pretty good, but I still have some joint issues, but I think it comes off and on, and I think that's just the Lyme disease resolving itself, so I have really bad Lyme for a while, so, yeah, so, so I think it's just body resolving. (laughs) Body Um, resolving, yeah, so for the most part, yeah, I feel pretty good. Awesome. And, and, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's just an interesting transformation. So, so my second, like my follow-up question to that is, um, basically today, how many days ago or months or years ago how, were you diagnosed with breast cancer, or have you discovered such a lump in your breast? Um, it was about a year. Such ago. a lump in your breast. I, a, I would to say. My diagnosis was about <laughs> a year ago. And um, about a year ago. It was about a year ago, and um, yeah, and I had just. So many other things going on with it was Lyme disease and mold exposure and craziness, um, a lot of different things going on with it. So it's been a while, but um, the lump is reversing, and you know, yeah, and um, certain things are getting better. But you know, like with anything, it takes time because I think it's every it's every month you're raw. There's like a what is that? Every year you're sick. It's um, one month for every. It takes month. for every year. Every year. One so month. you're 40. It's going to take you. Four year, four, four years to heal, completely. It's gonna take a while, yeah. But it's gonna take a while. yeah, it's gonna take a while. But yeah. the yeah. most, of, majority of it, once you change your diet, would yeah. should see a big difference, which you yeah. have. Which I do. I am seeing it. Like the energy levels are changing, and my skin and my eye color is changing. So it's really, uh, yeah, it's actually a really interesting process to go through too. And you know, um, yeah. And I mean, for any women struggling with breast cancer, don't get scared. Don't fear it. Like, do your research. Love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Continue. Like, yeah, like anybody going through a breast cancer scare, do your research first. Don't panic and rush yourself into chemotherapy. Um, I went into an integrative center 
And my biggest regret is just seeing these women and what chemo does to you. And, and everybody thinks, oh, chemo will cure. It's, no. I've seen so, I mean, hundreds. Women just, they get, it comes back. It comes back twice as bad. Now you don't have the immunity to fight it. And you're stuck on chemotherapy. So the doctors are making more money because you're stuck on chemo until you eventually perish with a lot of these women. Not to say that it, would, it doesn't work for some, but very, very few. And I met a lot of women who, one, who almost cried to me and said, if I would have known there was a different way, I would have taken it. I would have never done what I did. But doctors scare you and push you in right away. And just know that you have other options. And, you know, really pray a lot and uh, believe in God. Pray to God because really at the end of the day, it, like your life is in God's hands. And, uh, you know, that's what I do. I think it's five minutes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Can we just make a follow-up video to this? Woo. One more time. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my buddies, uh, we're doing a Sunday. A Sunday, Sunday talk, snow day. Sunday snow day, talking about breast cancer and healing. Bye.